What's happening guys? I've been running around all morning filming those shoots and the different shots and different camera angles and running around placing this truck. That is literally the hardest thing I ever film is those RC shots. That's just how I enjoy filming. I've always been a big fan of the Jim Connor stuff and that's just the way I like filming my RC stuff. I actually use two, the, my two X Max in that shoot. I actually have my 6S right now rigged up with the GoPros. On there, my nice uh, hillbilly wooden structure there, but it works. I actually broke a drive a drive cup in filming. I don't know if you can see it in there. Broke that drive cup, so luckily I have a spare. Get that fixed. Also, this is my brand new 8S X Max. It's a little dirty. Been bashing it pretty hard. Definitely got to give a shout out to Roman Atwood for hooking me up with this 8S. This thing is a monster. I want to re-gear it, mess with the gearing a little bit, so leave me know in the comments, guys. I'm gonna get this drive cup fixed on this, get this back up and running. All right guys, I got the drive cup fixed. Right here is the issue. It doesn't take too long to do. It's just, uh, you know, trying to get the fingers in there so you don't take all the differential and everything apart like that. So now this one's ready to go again. Let's go out and take a look at the sketchy ramp that I built. I pretty much took everything that I could find and just put whatever I could make into a ramp together. But it worked out well. Got pretty good air off of it, so it booted me pretty good. So I had this trailer here. I really didn't know what to do with it, so I made like a step on, step off kind of deal. Worked out pretty nice. This was actually one of my more challenging and favorite jumps to do out of the whole thing. I had to ramp off an old piece of dock right here, then I laid this dresser down, and everything, it was just so sketchy, Then just, but I was able to clear it, no problem. The truck was just dancing all the way up to the takeoffs. A little sketchy, but it worked out, fun jump. And this right here is my pride and joy of a ramp. <laughs> Two skids, a couple beams, plywood, whatever I could find. I'm 6'2". So right here gives you an idea how high it is. I mean, it's actually a pretty good poppy ramp. So basically a little playground in here using the uh, skid steer bucket. I'm up here in Canada, guys. I'm by myself. No, you know, I'm usually filming monster trucks and there's all kinds of content around me to always film. So this was actually challenging to film while I'm up here on my time off. So hope you guys enjoy this stuff. If you want more of it, let me know in the comments what you want. Give me some ideas, guys. Also, guys, my monster truck overkill is being tore down right now in Maryland. I'm up here, you know, enjoying some family time, some time off. Our house is almost finished up the road here be able to move in within the next uh, month or so and also the axles are completely out from underneath my monster truck right now it's getting all new axles all new corners uh, knuckles and things like that so once I get back to Maryland I'm really gonna jump on the wrenching videos and there's gonna be a, a lot of wrenching videos coming up here soon guys so let's go go over here right now and get my uh, X max cleaned up once again big shout out to Roman Atwood for uh, giving me this X max it is awesome I very much appreciate it I wasn't going to buy one, and when I was at his house a few weeks ago, he's like, I have one in the box, I'll hook you up, so thank you, Roman, for hooking me up with that that, that thing, it's a blast. And my 6S here, I love my 6S, I have the Pro-Line body on it, tough body, but I'm probably going to convert this over to an 8S, and uh, it'll rip as well. So I'm going to give these things a uh, quick pressure wash, I don't pressure wash them too heavy, and then I air dry them with the air nozzle, and then I spray them with WD-40 and soak them in WD-40 because it makes the plastic more tough, so shout out to Kevin Tobbit. If you guys don't know who Kevin Tobit is, if you love RC videos, go check him out. I'll put his link in the description below. But I'm going to get these things cleaned up. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little shorter than what I'm used to doing, and it's a little tougher than what I'm used to shooting. So hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you want more RC videos, guys. I love each and every one of you, and I'll check you in the next video. Peace.